Hi, it's Saj Hussain here and in today's video I want to talk about how to get started in property. That's a question that I get asked a lot, in fact several times a month. Messages, calls, bump into people, network meetings, it's all about how to get started. So I'm in a beautiful sunny day in October, would you believe it's like 23 degrees in October, it's amazing. And I thought I'd take the opportunity, I've just picked up my daughter from school in the park um, to do a quick video for you. So when we think about getting started in property what i normally respond what i normally say is first of all tell me why you want to get started in property i think that's the fundamental starting point uh, when you're thinking about getting involved in property why is it you want to do that what are you looking to try and achieve from getting involved in property what's the reason you want to get involved in property so the first thing is the why the second thing is what is the outcome that you're looking to try and achieve from getting involved in property so for example for some people it's about um, having um, a lump sum of cash that they want to grow that capital for other people it's about creating income from property as an ongoing reoccurring income such as uh, rental income now many people when they when they think about getting involved in property they're not excited by the bricks and mortar the, the, the tenants cleaning up after them um, uh, you know dealing with uh, repairs uh, at houses getting called out at three o'clock in the morning the tents to lock themselves out and you know having boilers stolen from houses that that's not what excites people people don't get into property for that reason very very few people are really passionate about property for most people it's a stepping stone it's property is going to give them the ability to make money to do something else so when you think about why you want to get involved in property consider those factors and then consider the outcome you want to achieve what is it you want to try and create from then you need to think about which is going to be the right strategy for you to be able to get from where you are right now to where you ultimately want to get to, which is going to be the right strategy. And in property, there are so many different strategies that you can use and strategies evolve and the timing of the strategies are important. So for example, let's say 10 years ago, people were buying uh, below market value property, no money down. That's not the kind of thing you can do right now or it's not, not it's not a common strategy in this market, let's just put it that way. So you've got to think about which is going to be the technique, the strategy that you use to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And finally, the thing I want to add, the other important factor, is thinking about what resources you have available to you right now, what skills and strengths do you have that are going to suit the strategy that you're looking to follow. So for example, let's say you're a kind of person that's absolutely brilliant at doing the research online getting all the information together building these amazing spreadsheets that's going to analyze the data for you but then if I say to you right what I want you to do is go and speak to sellers directly and negotiate with them a structured deal you might be way outside your comfort zone now this is something you might be able to learn but it's not going to be your natural skill set it's not going to be something you're naturally strong at doing so I think it's really important to think about your current skill set, your current strengths, what resources you have available, for example, how much time you've got, what access to money that you have available right now, what people that you can tap into that can help and support you. All these things, when put together, will help you determine and find the right strategy for you to get you from where you are to where ultimately you want to get to. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you're already in property right now, just let me know why is it that you got involved in property? What is it that got you interested and involved in property? And if you're thinking about getting involved in property, let me know why it is that you want to get involved in property. Just put your comments uh, below and I'll hopefully uh, get uh, involved in the conversation. So until the next video, thank you so much. See you soon.